Okay, so the first exercise uh, for rules coding, this is awesome. We're actually working against the entity module right now uh, in this exercise and not against rules, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, so, uh, I would like you to uh, change the site entity, or actually non-entity, uh, to include this list of words, so that we, in rules, can access this list of words whenever, whenever we like. Uh, something like this. Let's see. Uh, workflow rules components add new component. I'm gonna do an action set here. Continue. I'm just gonna call it temporary. Continue. And I'm gonna loop. Check this out. Aha! Uh -huh. It already picks out site. Uh, the site non entity. Let's have a look at that. We don't have any input to this uh, component, so it only has access to this site entity. Well, that rules uh, interprets as an entity. And here we have now rules coding word list. I'm gonna loop through that. Let's just call it this right now. And inside this loop, I'm adding an action. Let's, uh, <clears throat> let's debug a value. I'm gonna debug the list item and save going back to components and executing uh, this component now ba, 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 alpha beta gamma which is exactly the words I had here uh, okay so how to do this I'll, I'll give you a few hints um, you will want to check out configuration workflow rules and the devel info here and the sites uh, well the entity property here and especially here, the site's uh, entity that is not an entity. The entity that is not an entity, that's kind of mystical. Um, and you'll want to add something, add, add a new property to this one. And if you are, are uncertain about what data type you want to add as a property, you can uh, check out the, the list of available data types and see if you find something that, that matches this list of words that we have, this list of text words that we have. That's enough hints for now. Uh, finally, uh, you'll have to uh, read a bit of the existing code to know how to get the uh, the list of words where it is stored. But I can show you here as well. If you have um, devel installed, you can go to slash devel slash variable. And somewhere here, rules coding here. Um, rules coding words. Uh, if you run a Drupal uh, well, variable get rules coding words. You'll get an array of all the existing uh, words here. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, good luck. Have fun. Ask someone nearby if you get stuck. See you.